Hey y'all. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, so today we are going to explain a little bit about the city of Birmingham. So if you're moving to Birmingham, or if you've just moved to Birmingham and want to kind of get a lay of the land, um, or we have a lot of investors that reach out to us, not just locally, but from across the country, and they hear some of these neighborhood names, they want some guidance, we just want to provide some of that today, right? Yeah, so I mean, I'm a very visual person, so like, to give me a map and say go, go north, south, east, or west, that, you know, that's not going to help me. Maps are visual. <laughs> I know, but I need some landmarks and I need some city names right, right. so that I know if I'm getting on the interstate, I'm going towards the Galleria or I'm going towards Huntsville. <laughs> so half of the country just now are laughing at your pronunciation of towards or towards. Anyway, in Birmingham, it's really unique, very interesting in that way, um, in that the city of Birmingham, Birmingham city limits, um, are not nearly as big as what we refer to as Birmingham in, right. in the metro area. Um, as a matter of fact, within the Birmingham metro area, not including the city of Birmingham, there are lots of independent municipalities, and, and some even go so far as to have their own school right. systems right. and their own bus system. So there are lots of little details and nuances here to this Birmingham area. So. Um, I'm a history buff. I love history. This is not, <laughs> this is not the uh, video for history, but just to understand um, how Birmingham is laid out. Right. Well, so like if if you just are picturing a map, and we'll probably have our tech guy pop one up, maybe somewhere around in the here. map, right there. <laughs> Anyway, um, so if you're going north, so I like to know just kind of some neighborhoods and maybe some cities that are going in that direction. And so if you look at a map, I-65 runs literally from the top of the state down to the bottom. So if you're going north, you'd be going towards <laughs> Huntsville. Um, but the cities just right outside of Birmingham are, you've got Fultondale and Gardendale, Morris, and then Kimberly, and then... You got Hayden, yeah. um, Mount Olive. So these are all cities that we hear. We get phone calls right. from people saying, hey, can we go look at a house in this community? Right. Um, and, and we talk about these cities. You it, you can't tell where no. Birmingham ends and Fultondale begins or right. where Fultondale ends necessarily and Gardendale begins. Right. Um, now, I'm also crossing some really cool high school rivalries here. So <laughs> I don't want to alienate anybody. Uh, but but again, that's um, that's just kind of the interesting things about Birmingham. So right. going north, so if you're looking at Birmingham on a map, if you're headed up toward Huntsville and then beyond that is Nashville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. um, those cities coming out of Birmingham are Fultondale, um, like you said, Gardner. I don't have to repeat you all that, do I? Oh that. my gosh. <laughs> okay, so now if we're going um, maybe northeast. Right, so northeast of Birmingham. So just a little touch to the right. So via uh, the uh, the roadway, that would be yes. going up I-59 north toward yeah. Gadsden and then Chattanooga. Yeah, so those cities, you're looking at Trussville um, and even maybe some properties, if you go just a little bit closer in, you've got Roebuck Springs, Roebuck area, Center Point, some of those areas, and then you have have Trussville um, and Springville, and then you would keep on going towards towards Gadsden. Gadsden. That's right. right. That's right. right. Um, you might hear of an area called Pinson. Again, we get a lot of investors that ask for opportunities in Pinson. Again, you mentioned Roebuck. Right. Uh, Roebuck is a really, really old community in Birmingham, but it's it is amazing all the new life and the new growth in the real estate values that are. Um, there in Roebuck today. So right. um, that's northeast. So How about if we, we move further east? Further east, you're going out I-20. I-20 <laughs> toward, toward Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> yes. So if you're going out that way, you're looking at cities like Moody and Leeds. Yep. Um, a little further out would be... At Pell City. Yeah, Pell um, City where the lakes are. Yeah. So uh, Lake Logan Martin is just maybe 35 minutes east right. of Birmingham area. And we have so much growth going on right now in the Pell City area. Pell City, Riverside, Cropwell, those yeah. are little, um, those are towns that sit on uh, on the river there or the, the lake. So if you're looking for a lake property and you're like, oh, but I need to work in Birmingham. I mean, 35 minutes is an easy, easy, easy drive. Commute. We have friends that drive in from Cropwell weekly. Um, so that's not a hard drive at all if you want to be on the lake that's and right. drive into the city. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. So moving from east, let's move to the southeast of Southeast. Town. Well, Highway 280, right? Right. Highway 280. <laughs> four, so Interstate 459 connects... 59 to 59. Um, uh, basically, uh, Interstate 59 runs from the northeast to the southwest corner 
um, of the metro area and 459 kind of creates a loop on the bottom half of that right. um, and there is a lot of life a lot of business a yes. lot of people that live along that 459 so as you're talking right. about so um, highway 280 mm -hmm. that's where you're going to find the summit so if you've heard of the summit um mall that's yes, right would be um it's an outdoor mall you would find that kind of right there at the edge of 280 and 459 and then as you go down 280 you're going to have all kinds of subdivisions or not subdivisions all kinds of neighborhoods um like inverness yep. um, you'll find graystone you'll find you, uh, there's Meadowbrook there. A lot of Hoover, the city of Hoover, right. um, kind of branches over in that area, that part of Highway 280. Beyond that, you have, like you said, Greystone, Greystone Highland Lakes, Highland Lakes. And Chelsea. Then, as you go further out, you'll find Chelsea. Again, another hot button um, yes. at, that has been for a few years and will continue to be for a few years. A lot of growth in that whole Chelsea area. Uh, but that direction takes you down toward the University of Auburn. Uh, but if you go back up 280 towards the mall, the summit, just beyond the mall, you've got the community of Cahaba Heights, yes. which is a cool little um, walk around sidewalk community, lots of businesses some fantastic restaurants. Um, and then beyond that, you've got Mountain Brook. Right. Right. And so also, um, as you're going down 65, now you're going down south towards Mobile, mm -hmm. um, you will also find Homewood. Yep. And then you have Hoover. So don't let Hoover trick you because Hoover is gigantic. <laughs> Hoover, if you're not sure where you are south of Birmingham, there's a it's, chance you might be in Hoover. Right. But for the logic personality types, let's start. If you're in Birmingham, you move directly south. You've got Homewood, which you mentioned. Yes. Um, Vestavia. Vestavia. Hoover. Hoover. Uh, beyond Hoover, you have Pelham. And then Alabaster. Um, and then over just a little bit to the west, you would have, I mean, yeah, west, mm -hmm. you would have um, Helena. That's right. Um, you have the University of Montevallo right. um, out in that direction. And just some landmarks through there. So in Hoover, you would have the Galleria. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's there's so much uh, in the, the River Chase area, the River Chase neighborhood, we right. would consider in this in this right. part of town, this part of Hoover. But, but what you're trying to say is if you go, or if you're going down 459 south. South, and if you are going going towards the west, mm -hmm. you are going to find cities like McCullough. Yep. Um, and then the back door of McCullough would be that Helena area. Mm -hmm. And then also you have Bessemer. Mm -hmm. And maybe in, the, in Bessemer, that's where you're going to find um, Alabama Adventure, which is a great spot for the summertime. Mm -hmm. um, anything else that way? No, I mean, I think that whole Bessemer area, just uh, north of Bessemer, you've got, I mean, uh, Hueytown and Pleasant yeah, Grove. Yeah. You know, we get a lot of investors, again, local investors as well as investors across the, com the country that, um, look, that like to look in the Bessemer area for both um, fix and flip opportunities as well as fix and hold opportunities and rentals. Um, in those so lots of opportunities there as well we just wanted you guys to have to know the lay of the land when it comes to the city of Birmingham and if somebody says meet me at the gallery you know that you are going south <laughs> as long as you are north of the gallery <laughs> <That's true. laughs> all right so we are Mike and Brandy Brown we'd love to be your real estate resource of choice so if you have any questions certainly reach out to us my cell number 205 368-5995 or you can always email us at info at mbbrownrealty.com. You guys have a great day. Bye.